What's going on guys? Welcome to another Magic the Gathering on the internet live Yu-Gi-Oh! stream courtesy of Justin.tv <clears throat> Okay, so I don't think we're taking this guy I think we're taking this guy In Bolus's clutches is pretty OP Um... Yeah, I don't think we're taking this guy. We're taking the we're taking the emblem. This is also a two color commitment. Otherwise, you get a four four flyer for seven. I'm just gonna take this. Ooh, and I want to take this Danitha. She's very good. And now we can be blue white and feel good about all of our life choices again after that last draft. Oof. Oof. I'll take this guy. Look, legendaries, easy legendaries now. Oh, I think this is probably the best. Pack one, pick one after I see. I, I think that's very easy. I say that because nothing else even stands out to me outside of these two, outside of those two. Is this me? Oh, look at my gas Rav Ragavan email, like I avatar now. That's great. That's the best one ever. Man, I changed it from Black Lotus to Ragavan, so. Oh, I see. You're not going to give me any white or blue cards. I understand. <clears throat> I think Migration is the best card in this pack. I could take just Relic Runner, which is not terrible with Danathan and Bills' Clutches. I don't think it's as good as Saproling Migration. It's not. But it's probably just fine. Um, yeah, I'll take Relic Runner. It's not great, but whatever. What are you going to do? <clears throat> Probably Relic Runner number Dose. Got to grow from the ashes. I think the green cards are becoming better. I really don't want to be three colors every single draft, unfortunately. I mean, I do, but I, I feel like I shouldn't be. How about that? Let's just draft the Mono Relic Runner deck. We got, we're off to a good start. We also don't have to be white necessarily at this moment. So I don't actually like the Golem. I don't want my opponent drawing cards in Limited. You'll probably drop white. Why would I do that? I have There's no evidence to support that. I could be white. I could be white as much as, much as green or blue or purple. I don't... I don't love Poet, but I don't think it's completely unplayable either. Oh, another migration. Oh, actually, Sergeant Arms is probably on par with... Like, if you're going to play... Like, this on 2 is 2 one ones. This on 3 is a 2-3. Uh, on 6, both of these are 4 power. Only this is 5 toughness over 3 bodies rather than 2. Yeah, I think this guy's just as good. <clears throat> Also, I don't want to give up the Danitha yet. Oath of Teferi. Nailed it. Just kidding. That That's terrible. Slyn Vada. This should not be 10. It probably should be, but I don't like that it's 10. I'm just going to take the Avon Sentry. What do you blame and blink with, with... Okay, so like you blink... and None of these are blinkable with... Oath of, I mean, you can blink in Bolus's clutches just to get a new dude, but that doesn't feel great. I'm not a fan of, of that. Call the Cavalry, I am a fan, a large, a sizable fan of. <clears throat> Oh, uh, short sword's pretty good. All right, this deck's coming together. I'm a, I'm a fan of what's going on right now. Short sword also triggers these guys, so we're doing good. I need you to get the cavalry on the phone right now. I'm 
Oh, another Avon Century, eh? Okay. Well, I like an Adamant Will. I like an Avon Century better, I think. Maybe? I don't even know, dude. I don't know if 3 2 flyers are that good in this format. They die to every piece of removal. I think it's one of these three. <laughs> he said, obviously. Um, I, I, I think this card's very good. Candle triggers our relic runners. I'm going to take the candle here. Deep freeze. Yeah, let's do that. Unwind. I like an unwind for the side bizzle. Tragic poet. I'll take a tragic poet. Unwind. I like an unwind for the side bizzle. Is that deja vu? Have we done this before? I like an ele elephant excavator. Adelie's. Yeah, I'm just saying. I think Blessing Light is significantly better than Daring Archaeologist. We're also probably going to not have a problem with our four drops. <clears throat> I'm going to take this Blessed Light. Bop. So it was a, it was a low key Hanson throwback in case you guys didn't know. I'd like to take this Clouder Sphinx, but Seal Away is pretty good. <clears throat> No one does expect the Banalish Inquisition. No one expects the Banalish in Ooh. Tetsuko's pretty good with the Relic Runners. Look at this. Look at all our legendaries. This is a Karn stand. And there's nothing else good in this pack, just to be clear. Matthew Ori, what song are you talking about? And that was how uh and that was how his his video got copyright claimed. Uh, I'm gonna take this weight. This deck is looking amazing right now. All of these are top tier picks. Blink of an eye or cloud. Ooh, this is actually a toughie. I think it's Cloud Reader Sphinx. We only have six creatures too. We can probably get another blink. Drake. I don't know any Drake songs. <clears throat> Sorry, buddy. You're just gonna have to deal with Hanson. <laughs> wow, that's the second oath of Teferi. I might take this Juggernaut just to hope that I can put a uh, put an, an arcane wings on this idiot. Also, if we can get a Jousting Lance, it's actually probably pretty okay. And it's better than... I, I, make, I make justifications. There's really no other card in this pack I'd take over Juggernaut, so... I don't think Juggernaut's great, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, bop. Another way to memory. Bop, zoom, bop. Way to memory, yeah. Mm. I think it's just way to memory. I just want as many weight of memories as I can have. Also, I get to mill my opponent. I can probably get another invoke or a courser. Oh, but courser is good with juggernaut. Oh, the combos are real. God, but weight of memory, guys. It says draw three right on it. Have you guys ever drawn three cards before? I took the Pegasus. Oh, you! I hate you guys so much. You stupid dummies. No, I'm just kidding. I love you guys. Dang it. Um. Let's take the honor guard here. Oh, another deep freeze and a memorial to glory. Good lord. This deck is looking amazing. Lyra or History or Karn or Teferi. We put ourselves in a position to get one of the four best mythics in the set. Uh, of course, if we open one of those, being able to play it is the least of our concerns. But either way, it still does it for us. Um, this is actually a tough pick. I think we have enough removal. I'd rather just have the land. We also have 18 cards already that are all very playable, so I'll take this word. I'll take the uncommon. Oh, dub? 
How can it be dub when there's only one of them? It is funny joke. It's not funny. It's not a funny joke. It's not even a good joke. That's why it's not funny. Skip it up, I do. Up, skip it up, I do. Yeah, yeah. Tragdor, Trogdor. I guess this guy's fine. I'll take this dude. <laughs> I mean, our deck is actually pretty historic, right? Look at all these historic cards we have. Yeah, this seems good. That guy's huge. I mean, it's not Teferi or Lyra or Karn or History of Benalia. But you're you're good on your own, aren't you, Trag? Aren't you, Trogdor? Yeah, fight with fire is pretty good. I like a blink. We have 11 creatures and a call, so that's 12. Interesting. I'm not going to take Slinvada. Song's good. Fight with fire is good. I don't think it's really... I like the blink. I think it's just blink here. I don't think we care. I'd rather have a, a one blink and one deep freeze than two deep freezes. Clutches is also a creature, that's true. So it's more like 13 creatures. It is a colorless 4-drop. It's basically Karn. That's a good point. I had not considered that. Um, give it up, Badu. What are we taking here? Sergeant at Arms? I don't think it's... Oh, actually, I like Mesa Unicorn. I think it's better than Honor Guard. But, eh, what are you going to do? What does that even mean? What are you going to do? I don't know. Is it Sergeant? It could just be Sergeant. Would you pick Voltaic Servant higher now? With I, I... Yes, maybe. Yes, actually, I would. I would definitely even play one Voltaic Servant. I'd rather have two Sergeants than... We also have a good number of two drops. Oh, call the cavalry. I take that pretty highly. I'd probably take it higher than Academy Drake. Yeah, I think call is just a better card. Don't get me wrong. I love an Academy Drake. All right, well, Pegasus. Or is it just... No, we're not going to play two Blood Candles. We might pay... Well, we might play another Pegasus Corsair, especially with a Traxos. In fact, if we actually get... Actually, with double double courser, we're one hundred percent playing Juggernaut. That's just good value. That's just good. That's just good value. I see Unicorn is good with Pegasus. I mean, if we get another one, I'll play it over Banal Shonor Guard. But I'd rather have two Call the Cavalry than Pe I think we, we took. What do we take? Sergeant or Call over Pegasus? Now it's in my head. I, I, I cursed myself, guys. <coughs> um, Arcane Flight. It's good on both of these, I guess. On Sarah's Wings is pretty gas. It not only does it... I, I want to take the Invoke, actually, because we don't have that yet. Oh, that's what we wanted. All right, that is our... 23rd card. That guy is just great. Uh, Trapper's pretty good, though, too, I guess. Um, Don't care about any of these cards. Take a rescue. All right, so now we got two cuts to make. Oh, I'll take a Slin Vada. Hey, Vada, 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 Slin Vada. That's, a, that's an old meme, but it checks out. Oh, a a Adamantha a Amaranthine Wall. It's basically adamantium wall, right? Uh, you can't make an entire wall out of adamantium, Frank. The material is far too rare. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. And I've read comics my entire adult life. 
If they got honor guard, you're pretty pretty poop. Um, what do you do when you want all the other cards? Pernicious dude, I have little doubt that you'll be able to get Mbop out of my head. Very little doubt, my friend. I don't know if I want to cut Relic Runner just because we have Tetsuko and we have a very historic deck. Like, this deck is the most... This is probably the most historic deck I've ever had. This deck is the most historic deck I've ever had. Like, this is eight historic spells. That's a lot of unblockable. I think 41 is probably what we're going to do, right? Because you guys don't... You guys don't mind. You guys are encouraging the 41 card spesh. All right, I'm in. I'll 41 card this bad boy. What is it, 8-8? Eight, eight? And we're going to add one more white, probably. Yeah, that's good. This deck looks great. Look at that curve. Oh, God, it's gorgeous. It's like a work of art. Why isn't there a Lyra in this deck? Well, you see, let me explain it to you, Lapo. I don't actually open valuable cards. I open mediocre cards. And, well, that's really the end of the story. I will play first. Keep the sand. Short sword and Danatha? Deal. It doesn't matter what comes. It goes better. I'm, here's the Mentos song again, guys. I'm so sorry. With Mentos fresh and full of life, nothing gets to you. Mentos is cool. Because they're mints and that's how they work. Mentos mints in your mouth, yeah. Mentos fresh mints putting in. Is that a good? I do like the sword for Traxos. I like what you're saying here. Do we wait for Danatha? <laughs> do we wait for the, the Danatha too? That's two attacks. Oh, look at that little guy. I'm a little unicorn. I will destroy you, unicorn. I come from a long line of Capuchins. <clears throat> I said, hey there. And that's not how that word works at all. Mentos freshness. Mentos freshness. Do we block here? God, I don't think so. It feels so bad, right? If they attack into our thing... What if they're a maniac, though? When songs get stuck in a head, it is because your brain is trying to finish it. Sing the last few lines and your brain will be happy. Songs that fade out are more apt to be stuck in your head because they do not... Oh my god! Is that true? Is that true? No way, dude. No way. Trogdor. That's amazing. Brains are so crazy. Here's the weirdest part about brains to me. Um, my brain is what's compelling me to say these things. It's what's it's what's coming up with these thoughts and these theories. Yet I'm still referring to it as my brain. There's a disconnect between the actual brain and, like, your identity. That's weird to me. Trapper is very good against Traxos. You're not wrong. I'm uncomfortable with it. But, you know, it's good against Traxos. You know, it's not good against Traxos. My opponent's life total. That's right. <laughs> Dang it.
We could have waited to untap him, I guess. I don't know. Probably hold the sword. I mean, I'm talking to you guys, right? I'm getting distracted here, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm not perfect, okay? Why didn't he play the flyer? That guy attacks for four. I don't know, man. My head's not in this game right now, okay? God, just leave me alone. Our deck is too good. It doesn't matter. We already won. That's not true at all. Is this a mirror match? All right, so they don't have anything now. Or do they? This is my bird. You're gonna single paint my bird? Wow. I think you know it, dude. That's rude. I thought we were friends. I'm gonna assume they have adamant will in hand. Which is why they attack with this guy. I don't think it's charge. I think it's adamant will. And they just did an alpha because we just get to trade off a bunch of things. Yeah, that's fine. This guy indestructible. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So they can block with these two. Yeah, I guess they, even if we trade for both these guys, it's totally fine. If we get an, if we get a historic card. We, did, we didn't get that. We didn't get a historic card. Kick it! I have another Cinco paid for one mana. The value. They didn't have that. All right. Well, <clears throat> speaking of brains, my friend is 14. She went to psychiatrist because she heard a voice in her head. It was her brain, like literally just her thoughts. She thought she was the only person who had the ability to think. Wow, for, that's insane. <clears throat> well, I mean, the thing about that is like... It can be a little... I imagine it can be hard to tell. Like, there's no like rule book for brains, you know? You're just, you just got to figure out how life works. It's really strange. Okay, that's a good, that's, that's what we want. That's our boy. It's your boy, Peggy. I guess we just play the other guy too, right? Let's just maximize our unblockable unblockableness. There's no rulebook for brains. <laughs> That's a good quote. I've seen so many people claiming to be the friends of the girl who thought she was the only one who could think, wow, you just stole that story. Why didn't well, just say I read a story? That's all. You don't have to. You don't have to claim that it's your friend. You could just be like, oh, dude, I saw this story. It's crazy. <clears throat> this deck will go on. Go go to history for sure. We have never seen a deck so pure. Flying jugs coming in hot with surely O3. Not the brain is really <laughs> awesome thing it is also an evil mouse who wants to be king now let's make this draft more legendary and songs can songs can get stuck and that is real scary oh zaxor well that's pretty good I'm afraid of this when it becomes a 24 and then they gain 20. You can tap my bird. That's rude. Oh my God. There's so many calls happening. Someone quick, put in a call to the cavalry. They don't have any floaters, right? I think that card's actually... Well, I, mean, I guess we can just kill it. We can just block it forever. So I'm not too scared about it. 
I ain't scared. You got Gideon's Reproach. It's the last card. They always have it. I'll understand if you do. That would also explain this Make it Mesa Pegasus attack. So they have the one card that justified them attacking with Mesa Pegasus. Could actually be Reproach as well. I would probably have approached Pegasus here, but. I'm just gonna play everything. We have no real reason not to. What happens if you befuddle this? Do you actually. Do they just die? Does their life total go to zero? Because that's friggin' hilarious. And I would actually board in befuddle against the Everett just for that moment. That sounds amazing. That's the kind of moment where, like, I wish when I streamed I had headphones on so I could just toss the headphones on the desk and, and peace out. I'd be like, oh, and then you run around the room because it's amazing. <clears throat> That's amazing. What a combo. Give me a weight of memory. I just want weight of memory. That's, that's basically a weight of memory. We can only attack with one thing, though, if we... Uh if we play this. We're still playing this. I'm going to assume. What do we What do we got here? Blood blood letter candle maybe? Maybe a little candle. Uh that's actually pretty good. Keep you on top. That's going to untap Traxos. And it's going to make this unblockable, these two unblockable. So we're going to play you for two, and then we're going to have four attack mana. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, all right. That's going to be pretty good. God, Baird is a real pain in the ass, though. You must pay extra mana for all your attacking gentlemen. All right, buddy. Whatever you say. What is a steward, anyway? It's like a shitty king. How dare you, sir? I work for House Argive. Yeah, whatever, buddy. Whatever you say, chief. I guess we're attacking with everybody. So you. We got four attackers. You. You and you. Take a look. It's in a book. Four attackers. Give. You flight. Because if I give this guy flight, that ain't going to work out well. I think they just block with Ever and trade. That's actually fine. So they switch life totals. It becomes 15. They go to 4. So they're gaining 4, basically. If they do have Adamant Will, though, it's pretty rough because then they get 2. Uh, if they had Adamant Will, they would have they would have just done it a while ago, right? Oh, I see. Interesting. <clears throat> Oh, God. So many things. Oh, they did have the Adamant Will. Oh, they didn't switch their life total, though. That's pretty good. Wow, that was great for us, actually. If they switched it, they could have actually had a 14. They would have gained all the life back. Um, And then they would have just, would, would have just been a permanent, like, 14-4. That, that worked out very well for us. It makes no sense to switch. It makes total sense to switch. They have a 14-4. No, it wouldn't have been the same life total. Yeah, but they yeah, they would have been the same life total, but this would have been a 14-4 forever now. It makes total sense to switch. You switch because your life total stays the same, but this guy ha now has 14 power. If they if ever died, it would have been it would have made no sense because then your life total just stays the same. The fact that it's alive means you just have a 14-4 on board. Which is pretty ridiculous. 
We're going to keep two up. We're only going to attack with four here. Which is basically one, uh, two, three, four. Uh, no blocker for you. So we got flying, 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 unblockable. What up, Ardeen? <clears throat> Take a look. Now I have the reading rainbow song stuck in my head, dude. This is terrible. Is it though? I don't know. Oh, draw two. Okay. Oh, we just win this game. Yeah, we were in good shape here. <laughs> to the surprise of no one. All right. Uh, oh, we don't have a befuddle. That's real sad. <clears throat> I mean, that doesn't surprise me, though. The card's terrible. Do they have anything we care about invoking? I don't think so. I think our deck's great like this. keep this hand. It's not super exciting, but being able to steal an ever or something is pretty cool. We have no reason to really play short sword here. Do I care about that? Well, it can never be a 30-30 because it doesn't actually... The toughness does not buff, only the power. So it would be a 34. Do we just play this guy? Yeah, probably. We have way too many things to do in the late game. <clears throat> five mana, five mana, four mana. And we can still play sword and equip next turn. Unless we draw Traxos, in which case... That would be gas. I hope they make it a 420. Well, I can see why you'd hope that, but I don't know if our odds are very good. No blocks. Well, that's pretty good. <clears throat> I'm a little afraid of this. Come sail away, come sail away, come seal away with me. Probably just going to seal away now. A 420 plant fungus. Um. Well, now we're going to bring an invoke for sure. Is that the Two and a Half Men theme song? That song has been stuck in my head for literal years. It's just something I hum from time to time. Is that a Two and a Half Men theme song? No. That could be the closure I need. Men, 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 manly men, 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 men. 
Oh my god! That's been in my head for years. It's just a thing I just hum when I'm just like walking around. I have I didn't even watch that show. <laughs> oh my god, this is so What closure? Wow, it must have been like subconsciously implanted in my head like when someone else was watching it or something. Oh my god. Today is the weirdest stream I've ever had. Here comes they're going to go raff and they're going to copy their raff and it's going to be sad. And then we're all going to have a good raff about it. <laughs> oh, he just laughed at himself. Oh god. It's, it's all over now. Cinco Pete y'all juggernaut. It's the weakest card in my hand. I don't even care. I'm going to have it. I don't even want it. I don't even want this idiot. Oh. Get to, oh, maybe they knew. Maybe they heard me. Oh. Oh, that's sad. Really? That's more important than the Juggernaut, huh? Interesting. Now it's in my head. Wow. That's amazing, dude. I'm going to have to listen to the whole song after this just to get it out of my head. Just so I'll never sing it again. What if that's like, what if that stops me from ever humming that song again? It's funny because there's times where I've been like, why do I hum this every now and then? I don't understand. I don't get it. Where did this song come from? What is it? And now I know. My God. Oh. Oh, I see. I guess we're all clutching today. It's just a clutchy boy stream. Please give me a land. Please give me a land. I need to get rid of this right now. I can't be having you put a a, a helm on Bolas or on on Jug on Juggy. I can't even understand. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Can this guy block? No. Yeah, he can. No, I'm not. We're not attacking that guy, so that's for sure. Do I even wait? Yeah, I wait, because if you're going to equip for five, then you might not have syncopate mana. What happens if you clutches the clutches? Uh, you control this, but they still control this, I think. I don't even know. That's a world I don't even know how to deal with. Deep freeze. Well, that's sad. Well, I guess we're not blocking you. They totally have syncopate. Yeah, the two cards. Let's see if you got it. Oh, they didn't have it. Hey, that's pretty good. Our hand is so much better now. You have Helm and Memorial of Genius on board, though. We can't jump lock the knot. It's a wall. That's the whole point of Juggernaut. You will see. <clears throat> oh, this is not the land we needed. The value it has lost. I need an island, which makes me sad. You can go on the bottom, but you can stay on the top. Boom, 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 boom. Nope, you go. Yeah, they got that wall technology. Would you like to see my wall technology? I don't know, not really. That sounds kind of weird, man. Be some kind of like... Uh, 
Oh, man. Bird City, boy. I'm going to steal your, your helm, if that's okay with you. We can steal we can steal anything with clutches, Monsonster. Anything at all. Oh, the old post combat tap thing. Why don't you tap this guy down and then you could have attacked with both your little birdums? Birdums. It's birder. Uh yeah, we're just gonna steal that thing. I too have in bolus as clutches. Seal away to get your Drake back. Seems like the least uh, oh even if it's equipped now I get the copy <gasps> oh that's such gas dude what are you saying Brian what's going on if you threw a party invite at everyone you knew you would see the greatest gift would be for me and the card attached just said thank you for being a friend um well, this guy's got to get in there. If you want to double block here, I guess that's okay. I guess we're just getting in with everybody. How could he unequip it? I can unequip it, but I haven't. This seems like an okay trade. I'll put you first. I'm going to kill you both. Now I wonder if every song... Wow. Wow. This is 10 hours of Owen Wilson saying wow. No. Just no. That's rude. You're a rude, you're a rude gentleman. I mean, we knew it was going to happen, but what are you going to do? Got to make you do it. <clears throat> I guess we could have played call. I don't know, man. It's whatever. Now you don't get to Memorial, though, so that's good. I'm trying to see the silver lining here or anything. You should mod me for changing your, your life with the Leo magic done. I don't like it when people ask to be mods because that's a little weird, but I'm going to let you do it because you're a sub and you're, you got some cheers. You got some bits. Oh my crying out loud. Oh, the old double in bolus clutches deck. I see a classic. Good Lord. Well, I hope you don't get anything down that costs one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That costs two or less. Good lord. I don't even know who's Chris Lockman. I don't even know who that is. Well, that's that's obnoxious. Yeah, Daniel, the art assignment is great. I really like their perspective on things. This is a good block because this guy we can just re-equip to something. And uh, then we get to keep a infinite unblockables. And this is three unblockable right here, so that's pretty cool. I feel like we're in good shape. If they want to just copy their knight for the rest. Oh, they have no cards in hand? Oh, this game's over. 
Yeah, the art assignment's really great because it gives you... I feel like the art assignment, if you guys don't know, we're talking about the art assignment YouTube channel, which it's called the art assignment. It's very good. Uh, if you guys are a fan of art, you should check it out. If you're not a fan of art, you should also check it out because it gives you a new perspective on art. <clears throat> uh, the reason I like it, though, is because it gives you... Uh, it puts into words all the things I've always tried to say. I'm like, well, no, let me explain why this is the way it is. And... Um, it does a good job of doing that and because I'm like, I never knew how to like to express it. All right. So now they have no guys. Oh, this is good stuff. This guy also unblockable. Just keep in mind. Phrase it. <laughs> Oh, uh, hashtag 420 phrase it. That's what I always say. He never says that. Is this only round one? Man, this draft seems like it's taken forever considering our last one was like mm, 40 minutes. I'm just going to alpha here. I'm fearless. God, look at all these unblockables, dude. All right. Got an island. What are we getting? Oh, that would be good. What do we hit? Does it matter? Not really, but I'd like to know. All right. Let's keep keep rolling. <clears throat> I get in that situation all the time. All my friends always want me to be their tour guide on RV scenes, and they keep asking, is this art from now on? I'll just keep... That's a great... Like, yeah, because I can't... I hate when people look at art, and they're like, I could do this. I don't get what's so special about it. And I couldn't... I could never articulate what was, like... What was great about... Um, like, Jean-Michel Basquiat is one of my favorite modern contemporary artists, I would say. And um, <clears throat> his stuff evolved from graffiti art. And a lot of it looks very... It has a very childlike appearance upon first glance. And so I could never articulate uh, why this is better than, you know, your child's, your three-year-old's painting. You know, it's like I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't find the words to do that. But, yeah, it's a great channel. You guys should check it out. I am not sponsored by the art assignment. It is, I think it is a PBS channel, though, which is great. Go support your local PBS YouTube channel. The art assignment. Hi. I will keep this hand. This hand seems keepable. I like that, like, like cards like Blood Tallow Candle and Short Sword, I really like that in this format they're kind of like tricks because they trigger cards like Devon, Devon Trapper or Traxos. And so you're like, oh, I don't have to play this on turn one. I'll just hold this card because it's much better later. So that's my, that's my theory. Is that the theory? See, like this guy, he's just like, I'm going to run out this short sword. And I'm just like, no, buddy, don't do it. You're making a fool of yourself. You're looking ridiculous right now. This hand is amazing if we can hit lands. Oh, it's little Peggy. Oh, hey, Peggy. How was your weekend? I'm leaving the stream for the art assignment. That's that's fair. I can't begrudge you for that. 3.30 in the morning, not a soul inside. The city's looking like a ghost town. What is mean just let me show this story. And the thunder roll is that a, is that Garth Brooks? That's not a land. That is a Traxos. We wanted that too. But not like this. Eh, they won't trap it. I'm probably just gonna seal this Pegasus. Again, Tetsuko untaps Traxos, so we're probably going to wait. <clears throat> well, the thing about art is it's all subjective, right? So... Let 
Oh, you didn't want to attack there. I see. Well, that's not a land. I will play this saucy gentleman. Remember that time we were like, well, if we, yeah, we, yeah, Blood Telecandle also untaps Traxos, which is why we're keeping it in hand. Come on, you get it. You understand? Oh my god, this is going to be the biggest horse ever. Look at my horse, my horse is amazing. I should have... I should have gotten rid of you, and the best part is Traxos when it comes into play, which is right now. Also taps this guy so we get the free the free hits in. The combos are real. <clears throat> it's weird you say that because Saucy Gentleman is my superhero name. I gave it away on stream, but I'm okay with that. What an abomination. What an abomination! So what we can do is go Tetsuko, tap this bro, I feel like we're in, I feel like we're doing okay here. Actually it's lethal right, 79, 10, yeah we'll just lethal them. That's pretty good. Got him. This is a ridiculous card in this format. <laughs> Come on. It's a 7-7 seven, seven with trample for four. Uh, we saw both of these. We're probably bringing an invoke. What the can we take out? Um, probably one relic runner. See, we're just, someone just asked what the I think it was actually was it Casual Clemente who asked uh, what the best archetype is, and I said I think I said blue white. This is a blue white deck. <clears throat> take a relic runner out. Any other ways to give Traxos Vigilance? Uh, Voltaic, Voltaic Servant gives it Pseudo Vigilance. So that's pretty cool. <clears throat> give it a lick. It takes just like raisins. Uh, what do I to keep this hand? I don't know. It's hard to say. I'm going to keep this hand. We're on the draw. This hand does everything. Like, we can cast anything we draw, obviously, because that's how six lands works. But, you know. I mean, six lands does seem bad, but their deck isn't particularly quick. So, I'm not really worried about it. Also, our power level seems really high. It's a good card. And the Dry Assimilating Inferno. Which one? I'm about to petition your stream and go on strike. Well, Mike B works from like 1 to 10 now. 1 p.m. to 10. 1, 8, 1 p.m. to 10 p.m. So it's very unlikely that Mike, Mike would show up during day streams anymore. Uh, unless they're on the weekend or, you know, at night. That was a good fungal infection. Thankfully, I got my... Oh, see? This hand was perfect. What are these arches? These arches are on like a bunch of the basics, right? I think they're literally on all of them. Is it just like an arch... Arch theme? <clears throat> I can be your arch theme. Wow, look at this. Four, five, six. Perfect. Never didn't have it. I'm just going to keep keep on back. That guy's fine, but not exciting. He just milled three lands. God, so good. 
God, Wind Grace Acolyte's the best card in this format. <laughs> JK. Oh, he's telling Wind Grace Acolyte jokes because he hates that card. Uh, block. And. Oh, Tetsuka Umizawa. I think we can just keep up Blessed Light here. They have one card in hand. Personal question. I read an article about the Community Cup the other day. And said, I guess. We haven't been together for over two years now. No. It's, that, was, that was a long time ago. Uh, Jousting Lance. Look at this bird. Come on, bird. Come on, bird. Hey, bird. See, Jousting Lance is pretty obnoxious here. <clears throat> but we're definitely getting rid of the black creature. And blocking you and blocking you. Let's not make this a personal life stream. <laughs> no offense. I love you guys. Um... <clears throat> oh, double jousting lance. I see. Well then. That's a completely reasonable. Well, that's scary. I don't actually have an efficient way to deal with plus four, plus oh. Good gravy. In Bolus's clutches? Call the cavalry. Well, I guess we could try to race you. I don't think that's going to work. All right. God. 5-1 bird. Oh, this dude. It's so good. <clears throat> oh. Boy, this is working out well. Well, not for us, but, you know, for them. Well, I guess we're chump blocking now, because otherwise we die. That's not going to do it. All right, next game. Woof. Okay. Okay. Well, we brought the the maybe we just want unwinds in. They have a bunch of they have like calls and and jousting lances. I got a really weird feeling of déjà vu here. I almost want to take deep freeze out cuz all their creatures are pretty much the same. They're pretty boring. No offense to it for the, to their creatures, but like we already have a good amount of removal, so oh, there we go. That's that's the hand we're looking for. Okay, so this is just how this is gonna go now. All right, that's cool. I think our deck is easily three oable, but when you only hit two one land hands, um, All right, we're going to keep it. We're going to risk it for the biscuit and just hope for the full. Like, if we hit, we know we hit, we're hitting one land. If we hit one more land, we can play most things. Wow, never keep a one lander. I don't subscribe to the, that, that rigid of a, uh, of a magic mindset. I think it's benefited me in the long run. Land. Magic hates me. Ah, oh, yeah. Well, we had a good run. Cut them all to five, but that doesn't feel great.
cool. Yeah, untap whatever. There you go. All right. No blockies. One land? Oh, we did it. Look at that. That doesn't do anything. <laughs> Keep untapping your jousting lance. It doesn't matter what comes, fresh goes better. Rat colony? What is even happening right now? I literally can't deal with one jousting lance. It's pretty sad. Uh. Casual Clemmy, have a good afternoon, buddy. Thanks for hanging out. I see. Well, I could probably embolus his clutches that if I drew more than three lands by turn seven, but... You know. Magic's hard sometimes. So even if we play this, we, we can't... We don't have the luxury of drawing uh, cards that stop this. I guess we can draw Invoke for a turn. Sure. Doesn't matter. <sighs> cool. All right. That was a fun game. That would have been... Wow. Like, if we literally could survive one more turn, we can bounce. We would draw... Call the Cavalry. We would draw Land... So we would have had a land for, for the next turn, and then a land for the next turn. I think literally if we actually had one more land, or if we had one more card, we would have actually been in this game. All right. Well, sometimes magic is hard because you don't get to play. But what can you do? Well, not play, I guess. I guess so. Fresh goes better with men. <laughs> sure. <clears throat> All right. It's okay. We can do it. You can do it. That's from, uh, was that the water boy? I don't know. Mono black artifacts for standard? I don't even know if that's a viable thing, Brian. I happen to keep a lance on top with Cloud Rigger Sphinx because we just have to do that. But. I like a divination on turn four. 
That's pretty okay. All right, now we can put any lands we hit on the bottom. I guess it's probably better to just draw on the lands, right? Or to... Oh, wow. <laughs> well, everybody wins. My swoop? What does that mean? What are you saying right now? Oh, this? Yeah, all right, my bad. Is that better? Is that less... Are we less swoopy now? I want to steal this thing. Aaron, also Aaron, what's going on, buddy? Long time, uh, no sneak. Sneak into the... I don't know what I'm saying right now. We're just going to pass. Pass. We're going to pass this conversation. Mm, I'm probably just stealing this. That seems good. I miss you too, buddy. We don't get to interact as frequently. I don't know why. No real reason. <laughs> oh, we should all be so lucky to be loved like the mother we had committed against their own will. We should all be so lucky. <clears throat> Hmm. Wait, what? But I... You know what? I'll take two. You know what? Deal. So Adamant Will or Gideon's Reproach is what we're looking at here. So I guess I don't care which it is. Candle negates adamant will. I'll give you flying just just in case. It's a reproach. Oh, it's an invoke. Hmm. Oh, I'm so stupid, he said. All right, well, that's unfortunate. I'm sorry about your stupidity. It won't untap. Oh, okay. I see. I see. So they still have to have something else, right? I'm pretty sure we still kill that. If we have Adamant Will, it won't die. I'd rather just get rid of it now. You can't let me in the penthouse. I'm going back to my plan. Beyond the yellow brick We have five cards in hand and we have one Ugh. in Bolus's clutches. Oh, that's actually a great draw. Not only can we give it float, we can give it float with this guy, but it also makes Relic Runner unblockable this turn. going to attack for two. We'll see what they do next turn. <clears throat> because they can block here. If they still have adamant will, which I, I think they, pre I presume they might. Um, Yeah, okay. We'll just replay that guy. Then I want to be able to deep freeze whatever they play next turn so that they can't block. This is the weirdest art I've ever seen. 
Maybe not ever, but it's up there. Oh, it's old Snaposaurus Rex. So they're dead, right? <clears throat> so you got a block here, you take four. Yeah, they're dead. Makes you unblockable, so they take three unblockable. Four, five, six, they block Juggernaut. All right, that'll do. <laughs> Still had all these, I guess. Um, what do we see? We see invoke. Yeah, I don't think we saw anything worthy of uh, invoke our own invoke. I will bring in an, an, an unwind though. Put those guys over there. You guys are rarely coming down on three. This deck is insane. Um. Again, we'll just take one Relic Runner. I think Relic Runner is very good in this deck. Probably better than most decks. Yeah, his hand's keepable. And we're on the draw, so everybody wins. For some reason, notifications aren't coming up. Same template. I know it sucks. I need a card draw. I think maybe I put the industry. Got all the cards for standard. All right, I'll take a look, Brian, <clears throat> and we'll see when we can fit that bad boy in. Um, yeah, and right, we're done here. Okay, okay. They have mono blue, we have mono white. So let's see if we can even this up a little bit. No, not for them anyway. All right, well, that's fine. Gives me a chance to catch up island off the top. Sometimes we're very good at this game. <clears throat> I don't know why the notifications aren't coming up. You're going to blink this guy? No? Okay. I accept. I imagine when I play Juggernaut, you're going to blink that, though. Or syncopate it. Yep, syncopate. Syncopate for what? I'll do it for one whole mana. Okay, we got it. You got it. Oh, look at that. Look at that guy. Look at you. Aren't you special? I too am special. I am also a beautiful and unique snowflake. They put one card on top, one card on the bottom. I assume the card they put on top was a planes. I will bottom my planes and keep seal away. Come seal away with me. Stormblood. Usually when people say they're so done with MTGO, they really mean they're done with magic because it's basically the same thing. Oh, look at that guy. Oh, look at that thing. Getting real tired of jousting lances, I'll be honest with you. If you want to trade Trapper for Sanctum Spirit, that is 100% okay.
if we play sentry, you're going to be able to attack with everything. Yeah, we're just going to keep up seal away. Yep. <clears throat> Alright, we're just hoping for... Oh, this is this could be good. Oh, that's sad. Man, the life gain is real. But, so is the value for seal away here, so... Yoink! <clears throat> Take three. I've been having a blast draft of the new set. Um, three and five. Yeah, we're just going to keep you... Like, because next turn we can... Whatever you play, we can short sword, tap it down. So we get to deal 12 here. Could have also played Avon Sentry and swung for six. Um, and then if we hit a land, we can short sword and blessed light with another guy on board. But <clears throat> I see. Hmm. Interesting. Both of these add three damage to the board. Well, actually, Courser deals adds four damage to the board. <clears throat> because it suddenly lets this get in. I guess we could actually play Sentry and Short Sword to put this dude in. Yeah, let's do that. That keeps the pressure on. Is your last card blink? <clears throat> All right, so we now have a lot of things on the board. Now you do as well. But you do have to deal with Avon Sentry, so that's pretty problematic, I imagine. And if you can, then you have to deal with Pegasus Courser Davant Trepair. And we still have Imbolus's Clutches. So feeling pretty okay about that. Get in there, bird. Do your job. All right, your move. Good games. Good games. Good gravy. Wish you podcasted more. I kind of do on my. I, I've kind of been doing short, uh, short podcast, short form podcasting. We'll call it like ten to fifteen minutes on Patreon. I'm gonna start doing that regularly, like usually once a week. And um, so, if anyone's interested in that, you can check out my Patreon, patreoncom slash poor So, but yeah, Ali and Trazi was. A, I, I love. I love Ali to death. He's a great dude, and uh, that's my friend. Feels good to be beaten by blue-eyed flyers. I've been raving my friends about how good a draft archetype it is. Oh, it's quite good. Oh, well, he's, they're gone now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys haven't done so, as I just mentioned, check out my Patreon. It's patreon.com slash Frank You can find new content there for me from articles, uh, audio podcasts, things like that. And uh, it's a great way to support the stream or the YouTube videos. And uh, slam those like and subscribe buttons. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.